We start our show with Ancestry.com. The world's largest online family history resource is taking things to a whole new level. What is your story? You may not always think it, but your family history and story are unique. The decisions of your ancestors made you who you are. And thanks to one company, understanding their lives is now more possible than ever. Everyone wants to know where they came from, how they got to where they are today. And as you learn the stories of your ancestors, they're all the different pieces that ultimately add up to who you are. Ancestry started in 1983 as a publishing company. We published books and magazines and newsletters to family history enthusiasts. But in 1996, we put some records online. And since then, we've added 14 billion records to our site. And we tend to uh, add records at about 2 million each day. We have 30 scanning facilities throughout the world. It's really state-of-the-art technology for scanning, where we can scan microfilm and microfiche, but we also have sheet-fed scanners where we can put individual sheets through, and also these amazing book scanners that will, that will page by page induce a lot of the work for you. Ancestry.com gives the tools so that you can put together your family tree by yourself, and it's really easy to get started. You start with what you know. You go to our website and you put in information about yourself and about your parents and your grandparents. And when you get to the point where you're back a few generations, that's when our service really kicks in. With 14 billion historical records, 60 million family trees, and more than 2.7 million subscribers, there is no bigger database than Ancestry.com. And now the company is taking it one step further with Ancestry DNA. This new test allows you to pick up your family story where the records leave off. Ancestry DNA helps you build your, your family tree, make more discoveries. Taking a DNA test is the easiest way to get started, right? Because you send us a sample, and a few weeks later, we give you the results and you immediately learn all sorts of interesting things, including your ethnic background, but also the cousins that you have and where they may, uh, may be living today. The difference uh, with Ancestry DNA is that we have the fastest growing database and, and the size of the database really matters when you're trying to make connections. The bigger the database, the better the connections, the better the discoveries. At Ancestry, we've got 60 million family trees. So it's very likely that if you've built a tree and one of your cousins has built a tree, right? Not only do you have those trees, but you have the resources to continue to build those trees to figure out how you're connected. When you get your kit in the mail, it comes in a box. The first thing you have to do is you have to go online and activate your kit. You put in your secret number and it gets activated. The second thing you do is you spit into a little tube and then you put it in a box and you mail it back to us. And the laboratory takes this little DNA solution, takes a little bit of it out, isolates your DNA out of it, and it subjects your DNA to a pretty complicated and really snazzy test to measure it at 700,000 regions all throughout your genome. Those 700,000 regions, known in the science community as single nucleotide polymorphisms, or SNPs for short, are tiny mutations in our DNA that make us all unique. Ancestry DNA scientists then go in and compare your SNPs to SNPs from people all over the world. We use a big collection of samples that have been collected from around the world from Mongolia to lots of different populations in Africa, all over Europe, uh, Mexico, South America. We've got samples from all over the world. Ancestry DNA is connecting people like never before. Few understand that better than Ken Drake. Uh, I grew up in Riverside, California, in Southern California. Uh, to my adopted parents, uh, I lived in the same home for 18 years. Later in life, uh, as an adult, uh, genealogy has always been something that I've been more or less interested in. And so when I saw finally that Ancestry.com had an Ancestry DNA test that was autosomal, that would show the, the both the birth side, the mother's side and the father's side, and it was at an affordable price, I go, oh, that's interesting, I think I'll try that. Uh, just to find out what my ethnic heritage was, uh, because I really didn't know. Right, I had no idea. Um, so I happened to be looking on Ancestry and then uh, all of a sudden there was this close family match that showed up. Uh, first cousin, 99% sure. And so I thought, well that's pretty close, <laughs> first cousin uh, who I'm biologically related to. 
So I sent a quick note uh, through the Ancestry messaging system saying, my name's Ken Drake, I was born on this date in Los Angeles, I have no knowledge of my birth family, uh, and as this says that we're a close match, if you have any family information, uh, I'd be kind of curious to know. And then two days later, um, I checked in it again, and it said, 99% uh, sure I'm your uncle. Uh, my sister is, I uh, gave up a baby for, a baby boy for adoption um, on your birthday. And she'd like to meet you. Two weeks later, Ken would meet his mother and younger sister face to face for the first time. A few weeks later on his birthday, Ken received an unexpected no gift. Way. No way! <laughs> Happy birthday! I can't believe it. <laughs> Bro. How are you doing? Ken's little brother had come along as a surprise. And it turns out the two both have a talent and passion for music. We pulled the drums out and we just had a jam session for half an hour and that was the coolest thing, you know, to connect uh, musically with your brother. Uh, and so we kind of have that shared interest and talent and bond, which has been a kind of an amazing thing. As the saying goes, study the past if you would define the future. And for the people at Ancestry.com, perhaps nothing could be truer. I think it's very interesting to see where history has put you. We're all where we are because of giant historical events, migrations, plagues, uh, wars, and all of those things have created forces that have put us where we are now. And you can see that in your genetics and it reveals a huge history and a huge story that I find fascinating and very exciting. So remember, there are millions of stories out there. Ancestry.com is here to help you find yours.